Hey everybody, this is Jeff from My Cook Better and Your Mom and today I'll be showing you how to make a chicken quesadilla. You ready? Let's go! Alright you guys, so we're going to start with our chicken. We're going to combine some onion powder I would say around a, a full teaspoon of, um, of this good stuff. Let's go also with a full teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going in with this and we are going to add our pepper. That's totally up to you how much, how little you want to add. Very important you guys. In order to have that little bit of a Mexican flavor, we're going to add a little bit of cumin. So to add our cumin, I'm just going to grab my mortar, going to add a couple of cumin sets, not that much, and I'm just going to bash them real quick. Just that very quick bash so we can that beautiful original Mexican flavor. Time to mix. I forgot my salt though, so uh, let's just put this, let's just measure with a, with a teaspoon. So this is a teaspoon right here. And yeah, I would say that's enough. So now that we've got this, we're going to add a little bit of cooking oil, right? Just a couple of, of, um, of drops so we can actually mix this easily. And we are also going to add just a tiny bit of vinegar and I would say half a teaspoon goes in. So now our pan is hot. We are going to add a little bit of cooking oil. Be generous here because after all we are frying our chicken. So I would say um, a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half even. Like you can actually like pretty much see how hot your oil is just by putting your hand a little bit there. And at the same time, I have a, a grilling pan right here, which I'm going to start preheating. I'm going to start with low, what's it like medium heat? We're just gonna leave it here. Just leave it there and that's going to be for our final product. So that's going to take some time. All right, so now our oil is ready, right? That means that we are going in with our chicken very carefully. Try not to splash your face. Go with our chicken. Let's give it a little bit of a, a gentle... There we go. So for our fajitas, I would say like each piece of chicken should be around an inch. All right, I would say like an inch, an inch and a half. And that should be a good size for them. You guys, seriously. You can, all, you can make all sorts of amazing meals at home and so easily and so cheap and seriously healthy. Did I use the word seriously? That's because I really mean it though. Like seriously. Make sure that your chicken is cooked all the way through because you don't want to get bloody salmonella here, all right? Trust me, this is not like a steak. This is not like where you can get like medium rare type of chicken. That's not a thing, all right? Just try to go to Instagram and look for hashtag medium rare chicken and tell me what you find. I can tell you probably nothing and if you do, don't believe that. Seriously, just don't. At this moment, before it starts like to get like overcooked, we are going in with our vegetables. I've got my beautiful champignons here, I've got my, my pepper, and I've got my, my onion also very roughly um, chopped. So we are going to let this cook. All right, you guys, so now that this is ready, it's time to work with our tortillas. We are going to add our cheese between 100 grams and, or 75 grams of cheese will be good. And then we are going to add our levita mix. So we're going to start like this going just fold keep folding keep folding and 
keep folding. With our fingertips, just going to pretty much rub it, like rub it all over your tortilla. And this is the tricky part, though. We are going to grab this and very fast, don't even think about it. And we are just going to leave it rest again so that a couple of fingers <laughs> of, uh, of oil just rub it in and shit. All right, there we go. So now that this is ready, all we need to do is wait until this is cooked. It might take a little, like, a little bit of a while because this is a medium heat. You don't want to rush this step. You want, you want it to be like very, very brown and very crunchy. That's the whole idea, right? So we're just gonna give this some time and then we're gonna dig in. Our first fajita is ready and we are going to cut it. Alright, so there you go, a very simple quesadilla, a couple of minutes, really good though. So if you like this video, don't forget to always click the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and if you have any questions, post them in the, in the comment section down below. So this was Jeff from my cookie and your mom, and I'll see you next time. Peace! Hey everybody, this is Jeff from my cookie and your mom, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to make Chinese fried rice. You ready? Let's go! Mm -hmm.